I've watched the Nostalgia Critic's 11 Scariest Moments a few times now, and I have to say it's a shame he had to stop at 11 because there's lots more scary moments in kid movies out there. So I'm putting out a top 11 list of my own. Unfortunately, I don't have any editing software, so I can't show the clips themselves, but odds are they're on YouTube somewhere. Number 11. Since the Nostalgia Critic's list started with The Wizard of Oz, I'll start out with Return to Oz. This may have the longest gap from original film to sequel in movie history as it was released in 1985, 46 years after the original film's release in 1939. Eat your heart out, Psycho 2. The film is best known today for the casting of Feruza Balk as Dorothy, but for anyone who had the misfortune to see it as a kid, odds are what sticks out the most in your memory is the wheelers. The flying monkeys from the first film were replaced by guys with wheels in place of their hands and feet, kind of like if the Muleva from His Dark Materials were complete psychopaths. The insane giggling didn't help either. Number 10, E.T. being defibrillated. E.T. was the first movie I ever saw in one of those green VHS tapes. I got to, so upset my parents actually had to stop the tape the first couple times and wait a day before I actually was able to watch the whole way through. The hardest thing to get through is when E.T. is dying and they pull out those defibrillators that cause his body to jump a foot in the air. Today I realize that those doctors are trying to save his life with those things, but just try explaining that to a four-year-old who's been suspicious of these scientists since minute one of the movie. It's all capped off by part of what is still Drew Barrymore's greatest performance as she falls apart having just as little idea of what's happening as the rest of us kids. Number 9. The Trash Compactor in Star Wars. Unlike most scenes of this type, it isn't the compacting itself that's the scariest part. That would go to the monster that's inside the compactor with the heroes. First an eyeball and a stalk pops up, then Luke gets pulled under, under only to come back to the surface with a giant tentacle wrapped around him. Much like the mechanical shark in Jaws, the prop of this critter didn't work very well, forcing George Lucas to show it only in bits and pieces. And just like Jaws, that ended up making it much scarier. Number 8. Jumanji. And that's all I have to say. Like lots of other kids, I love the Chris Van Allsburg book about a board game whose jungle setting is brought in more into the real world with every movie players make. The movie takes that premise and turns it into a non-stop nightmare fuel. Sadistic monkeys, plants that shoot poisonous darts, one of the heroes slowly turning into a monkey, giant spiders, and finally everything getting sucked back into the game, with a couple seconds of Jonathan Hyde's head getting stuck with his eyes bulging out. I should note that absolutely none of this is in the book. You're messed up, Robin Williams. Number 7. The Queen's Robots in Mirror Mask The protagonist, Helena, is captured by the evil Dark Queen whose own daughter has run away, so she decides to make Helena into a replacement and sends her into a room with a bunch of CGI robots with realistic skin over not-so-realistic bodies and mouths glued to their faces as well. These freaks proceed to hypnotize our heroine and make her over into a copy of the Queen's goth daughter, all while singing Close to You by the Carpenters. Need I go on? Number 6. The Giant Mouse of Minx from An American Tale the mouse heroes decide to get rid of the cats that have been screwing with them by building a giant wooden replica of the legendary mouse with a tail a mile long. This thing is technically one of the good guys, and it's still guaranteed to freak out any kid who sees it. But what makes it even worse is that this sequence was done by rotoscoping, which means there was a real model that the animation was drawn over, and the giant mouse of Minx may be out there even now, waiting to kill us all. Number 5. The opening sequence of Spirited Away. If your childhood was anything like mine, you spent a lot of it in fear that your parents would leave you alone in some strange place with no way back. Spirited Away, the winner of the second ever Best Animated Feature Oscar, taps into this fear brilliantly. It starts out with the ten-year-old Tahiro being taken to a new house by her parents. They stop off in what looks like an abandoned amusement park, and her parents quickly show, chow down on all the food that's been mysteriously left out. Bad idea is it turns them into pigs and leaves Tahiro all by herself in a place that's pretty creepy in the daytime. But things get a lot worse when the sun goes down and a bunch of black blob creatures spill out onto the streets. Then it turns out a river sprung up and blocked the way back, and finally Jahiro herself starts to disappear into nothing. The movie lightens up a bit after this sequence, but the damage is done. Number 4. The Nightmare Before Christmas Tim Burton wishes he directed this movie, which is full of bizarre claymation creatures who inadvertently ruined Christmas for the whole world. For me, it's the mayor who's the most scarring. Glenn Shaddix is pretty creepy on his own, but put his voice into a guy whose head swivels between happy and sad faces, and you've got something that'll stick in a kid's head for life. None other than Santa Claus himself takes a real beating from these people in a great film that gives some great scares. Number 3. The Wrath of God in Raiders of the Lost Ark I've loved this movie since the first time I saw it, but that first time I had a little thought in the back of my head. Am I really supposed to believe that God would be forced to help the Nazis if they got their hands in this thing? Well, it seems the filmmakers had that same thought with the conclusion that, no that has none other than God himself delivering the smack down to the bad guys in an unforgettable fashion. One person's head is sucked inward, another has his face melted off, and finally the big bad Belloc's head explodes. You don't mess with God. Number 2. The Alpha Seti 5 Parasites in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan 
The first Star Trek movie was a huge mess of computer imagery, with the story clearly falling a distant second in the filmmaker's priorities. Not so the second, which is basically one long dogfight between Kirk and Khan and still enjoys a reputation as the greatest Trek movie of them all. I prefer number six myself, but this is still a great film with one incredibly scary scene. Chekhov and Paul Winfield are captured by Khan, who forces this half-scorpion, half-scarab critter, critters into their ears so he can control them. The catchphrase back in the 60s was that if kids really wanted to get freaked out, Brits had Doctor Who and Americans had Star Trek. Nice to see that legacy live on into the films. So are you ready for number one? You might want to give a preemptive shudder for this one. The Fire Gang from Labyrinth. Labyrinth is chock full of cool and creepy stuff, not the least of which is David Bowie in full Ziggy Stardust mode as the villain. But easily the worst of it is the Fire Gang, demented puppets that look like a cross between Big Bird and Flamingos, and who can gleefully sing about how much fun they're having removing their body parts. During this sequence, you're constantly thinking it can't get any worse, and then it does. One guy throwing his hand into the fire, another sticking his eyes and his fingers, all of them juggling their heads around, and finally they all gather around Jennifer Connelly and try to rip her limb from limb. I, she was only 15 when this film was made, and I really feel sorry for her having to see those things up close for what had to be a pretty long shoot. The primitive blue screen effects just make the whole thing even creepier now. So those are the moments that most scared me as a kid, or I could imagine scaring me if I was still a kid. Anyone else, feel free to post your own.